Jesus, our God is good, and all the time, has the Lord been good to you? If the Lord has been good to you, I would like you to please rise on your feet and just acknowledge the goodness of God over you and look at your neighbor. Say, God is good. Make sure you are saying it. Say, God is good. And God has been good to me. He's been good to me. Go ahead and wave your hands to this good God. Go ahead and wave your hands to Him. It is not easy. Sleeping and waking up is by His mercy. And He has kept us and brought us thus far. Over 50 years of your life, the Lord has preserved you. Over 40, over 30, 30, 20 years of your life, God has been faithful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the month of April. We are grateful, Jesus. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. I give you glory. You are the Lord, you are the Lord, let your name be glorified. You are the Lord, you are the Lord, let your name be glorified. We give you glory, we give you glory, we give you all the glory, Lord. Oh, 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 oh,
ready to be hurt, drag them out. Hurt somebody. Not me, hurt somebody. You just go ahead and tell them, No, me say the grace, na God and the praise. Oh, me say the grace, na God and the praise. Oh, hallelujah! Somebody make a joyful noise. You're the reason why we're here, oh God. Because you're the breath in our lungs, oh God. And you are the hair that we breathe, oh God. You are daily bread. You're always there for us to fill us with all our needs. Praise Heavenly Father. This is the every This is the every mm. Your holy presence This is my daily bread. You are my daily bread, sweet Jesus. Your very word spoken to me.
breathing, yeah. This is the air I breathe. Lord, you are the air we breathe, Lord. This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence, your holy presence, living in me, oh Lord, in me, yeah. in me. Oh, this is my daily bread. This is. that the Holy Spirit is so imminent. I want you all to ask the Lord and say, Thou Son of David, save and deliver me from sin, O God. Wash and cleanse me even by your blood. Purify him. Indeed, if you are desperate, indeed, if you are lost, he will find you and set you free. Father, deliver us from every sin. Anything that does not glorify your name, deliver us this morning. Even as we are crying unto you, just like blind Bartimaeus cried unto you on your way and said, Thou son of David, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on my household. 
Have mercy on my children. Have mercy, O oh Lord. Purge me and purify my heart because I was created in sin. I was formed in iniquity. But because of that precious blood, thou son of David, I have come, O oh Lord. I have come by your mercy. I have come to the throne room of grace. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me by your blood. Thank you for answered prayers. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. When you ask God to come into your life, all you need now is for you to ask him to direct you. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 32 verse 8, it says, I will instruct you. I will teach you in the way which you will go. I will guide you with my eye. I want you to ask the Lord this morning. No man can lead you. The arm of flesh fails. Ask the Lord and say, Father, in this new month, lead me, Lord. Direct me, Lord. Instruct me, Lord. Correct me, Lord. Guide me, Lord. Empower me, Lord. Enable me, Lord. Strengthen me, Lord. Energize me, Lord. Fill me, Lord. Fulfill me, Lord. Motivate me, Lord. Uphold me, Lord. Transform me, Lord. Reposition me. Father, Lord, we are asking this morning. You are the only one that will instruct. Father, I will not take instruction from men. Holy Spirit, teach me. Holy Spirit, direct me. Holy Spirit, guide me. Holy Spirit, help me. I will not dash my foot against the stone. I will walk in your direction direction you will hold me carry me if i'm too weak strengthen me by your power heal me oh lord provide for me you are my helper you are the one that directs you are the sustainer sustain me jesus fill me with your holy spirit Direct me, O oh Lord. Transform me, O oh Lord. Reposition me to that place. Perfect me, O oh Lord. I know you are the healer. Heal me, O oh Lord. Direct me, O oh Lord. Enable me in this month. Strengthen me and my household. Father, Lord, protect us. We give you all the glory in Jesus mighty name we pray we're going to be praying this month you know one thing that our pastor gave us i think a while ago about the number four the number four we are in the month of april is anybody excited in the house how god our god has been so faithful he talked about four four being stability for being a place where you know he used the analogy of a chair a chair with three legs can needs to be stable you have to put something to hold it but in this month he says it is a month where you know there was a song i was listening to this past few days something about gidigba or something 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 gidigba i think it was a uh, victoria renze that sang that song and he's talking about you are sitting short so let me tell you one thing that the lord has assured us in this new in this chap new wine chapel this month that nothing can move you everything that he has planned for us he said you are going to sit down Gidigba. Gidigba means assuredly. Nothing can move it. So I want you to thank him because it is our month of stability. The Lord will stabilize anything that is negative. He will stabilize your home. He will stabilize your marriage. He will stabilize your children. He will stabilize your future. He will stabilize your career. He will stabilize your health. The Bible says you will not be sick because none will be sick in Zion. He will stabilize your womb because he said none shall be barren he will stabilize your 
your children because he's the one that has created them he will stabilize anything shaky begin to thank him and say father i thank you because all that is moving that is not stable the storm in my life this month i receive stability stability with anything that has made me to be concerned stability in my home stability in my marriage stability with my future stability with my children stability with my health stability with my career stability with everything that concerns me father you said this month assuredly you will grant me stability in the midst of the storm the lord will give you peace in the midst of the storm the lord will make you stable you will not be moved because he has created a place he has created a space he has created a place he has created a space he has has created a place he has created a space he will carry you he will reposition you to that place of stability you will not be moved you will not be scared of the arrows that fly by day or the terrors that fly by the moon day noon day because he said he will keep his angels he will keep his angels he will keep his angels charge over you father we are grateful Thank you because you are a prayer answering God. Father, this month I declare upon every one of your children and including myself under the sound of my voice. I pray, oh Lord, that whatever it is that has caused you to be going through a storm in this month, you will receive stability. Stability all round. Whatever shakiness, whatever thing that has not given you that stability, the Lord will uproot it from from your life and he will carry you you begin to experience stability in your life everything that he has declared upon your life you will career will be stable your even those that are not sure concerning our single this month the lord will visit you the lord will uproot anything that has covered your glory from allowing that man to see you from allowing that woman that he has he has planned for you from seeing you in the mighty name of jesus we begin to receive news of abundance of rain in the place of barrenness you will be fruitful you will shine your glory the glory of the lord will radiate upon you men will favor you institution will honor you the lord will create a space for you the lord will put you in that place of divine blessing in the mighty name of jesus christ so shall it be so we have declared in the name of god the father jesus christ the son and the holy spirit somebody shout hallelujah turn to your neighbor turn to your neighbor because some of us we are doubters turn to your neighbor and say this month the lord will visit you you will be stable you will be stable you will be stable no more wavering hallelujah amen welcome each other welcome each other to the month of stability you are welcome to the month of april the place where the lord will bless you the lord will visit you glory to god in the highest hallelujah amen please let's have a seat in the presence of the king of kings and the lord of lords welcome to the redeemed christian church of god new white chapel where the fellowship is embracing the atmosphere is refreshing the spirit of god is alive and our message is j-e-s-u-s jesus somebody say hallelujah amen I know you can see that this excitement i hope you are catching it you are catching it our god is here amen and in the presence of the lord there is fullness fullness throughout this month you will have reports that will make you rejoice daily in jesus name amen so this is the redeemed christian church of god and according to how the the Redeemed Christian Church of God is every first giving service. So welcome your neighbor and say welcome to April Thanksgiving service. The Lord that has kept you, 
from January, February, March, and you are here in April, you will see December, you will cross over to the new year in divine health, in divine strength, you will not be sick in Jesus' name, amen. So the first Sunday, as I said, is our Thanksgiving, and our God is good. Is somebody grateful this morning? Wow. We are dedicating three babies today. God is good. Including twins. Our God is awesome. For someone that is still trusting in God, I agree with you that it is your turn. It is your turn. You will celebrate. You will rejoice. You will be fruitful in Jesus' name. So we're going to invite those that are celebrating the birthdays that have wedding anniversaries for this month in April. I want you to rise up and come to the altar as we rejoice with you. Praise the Lord. If you are not dancing, I will tell you to go back and start again. in my spirit as I was telling them to move to the middle that this God is indeed faithful. Imagine when we call and say people that are celebrating birthdays and nobody stands. Aren't you grateful that we have the opportunity to come and just thank him that he has preserved us in another year. Our God is good. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, what? I oh. said, yes, beautiful. Okay, thank you. Me and my dad's birthday is on April 9th. April 9th. Wow, the same day. Yeah, my husband, that's the best gift God gave to us after seven years of waiting. Thank you, um, Jesus. We have to get faith on his birthday. Thank you. Isn't, isn't God a faithful? It's just confirm what I just said that when we come to this altar, we can only thank God. God is faithful. Praise God. It's actually our wedding anniversary month. Wow. Con what day is that? You don't want us to. <laughs> so. You see what happened? It's, our it's not eating lunch today. 15 years of marriage. Wow. Glory so to God. Our wedding anniversary date is April 13th. April 13th. Wow. So we are grateful to God. Thank you, Jesus. You are eating lunch today, right? <laughs> he said Amen. maybe. You are, you are. God is a forgiving God. April 14th is my birthday. For the sun. God bless you. Congratulations. Uh, mine is April 1st. Wow. Oh, April 10th is my birthday, and uh, April is our 
wedding anniversary. Wow, so many things to celebrate in this month. Yes, we are celebrating his birthday, April 3rd, our wedding anniversary, April 29th. We'll be seven years in marriage. Please and uh, 27, 28, 29, I also celebrate my siblings as well. They were wow. born 27, 28, and 29 of April. So Amen. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. My birthday is 20 April. Congratulations. My birthday is... You have to let them see you. My birthday is on the April the 19th. Congratulations. How old will you be? How old? I'm nine. Wow. Big girl. My birthday is April 23rd. Congratulations. And my birthday is April 22nd. All right now. And this is a cold birthday celebrant. <laughs> Why don't you let him talk? <laughs> Please give him the mic. He has something to say. Isn't she beautiful? Yes. <laughs> and she's been spending my money all these years. <laughs> and she will continue to spend it. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yes. Uh, wedding anniversary. Uh, we can't see you. We can't see you. The beautiful wife. Oh, oh yeah, come forward. All right. <laughs> April what? April 6. How many yes. years? Five years. Five years. Congratulations. Can we come forward? People, I don't know why they are hiding. <laughs> Please, this is your platform to shine. Go ahead. Yeah, it's my brother's birthday and my birthday on the April 25th. 25th. Congratulations. My two daughters got the April 9th and 27th. Congratulations. Come here, sir. We want to see that uh, brother AJ in the house. Why shall I shine? Go ahead. Praise the Lord. My birthday is today. Woo! Oh, yeah, do that 1,500. Happy birthday. God Allah. Happy birthday, brother AJ. God bless you. Our wedding anniversary is AP 27, 11 Con years. Congratulations. Hallelujah. God is good. Our God is good. All he wants you to do is just to thank him. He just wants you to thank him. Thank him for whatever it is that you are celebrating. Thank him that has allowed you to climb on this altar. That nobody carried you. Thank him because you are not in the hospital. Thank him because he has given you that mouth to open just to say, Father, I thank you. Thank him because as we have prayed earlier, everything that has been a storm, the Lord has put, put a stop to it. And he will make your life to continue to be stable. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Let's thank God on behalf of those that are celebrating. Let's thank God because on our own day we will come to this altar of praise and prayer to appreciate God. Let's thank God that nobody will will us even as we celebrate them. Let's thank him. Father, all we want to say is thank you. This month, all we want to say is thank you. For those celebrating birthdays, all we want to say is thank you. For those that are celebrating wedding anniversaries, all we want to say is thank you. A grateful heart is the one that God attends to and give better things. Father, as they are thanking you, whatever they have brought to this altar that is negative, Father, they will not go back with it in Jesus' name. Thank you for your blessings that you will overshadow them with. Thank you as you open up your window and pour out that blessing that their band will not sustain it. Thank you for their lives. Thank you for their testimony. Thank you for their homes. Thank you, Father Lord, for your sustenance. We lift your name on high. In Jesus' mighty name, we give thanks. Amen. Congratulations, congratulations. God bless you. God bless you, mommy. God bless you. Congratulations. Now we're going to have the baby dedication before the general thanksgiving. So please, if you are part of the 
celebrants we have two families that are bringing in their babies for dedication we have sis brother francis and sister melanie to pray i hope that's the right spelling god say uh, god help me and then we have brother Boega and sister fumi lade obutuga so please let's rise up and rejoice with them so much for me I cannot tell it all you say if I had 10,000 tons you still would be sister melanie in fact she just sprung one on me we were talking about the baby boy and all of a sudden the next month we were saying oh please expectant and expecting mom come to the altar and she came i was like ah where did this <laughs> but look at her now she said she's ready for the next one <laughs> she's ready for the next one looking so beautiful and then what of sister fumi wow the day she told us oh there are two in fact i was like what it just brought a deja vu for me when i when i had my own two i was like oh my god but god indeed has been faithful to new white chapel Amen. our women go and they come back and they do not come back empty they did not come back missing one they come back full god we are so grateful what shall i render to jehovah for he has done so very much for me what shall we
Thank you, Jesus. 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 A million tongues is not enough to appreciate you. For some of us that have been there, hey, my shake liberacy. And we're standing too. We are grateful for your daughters. We are grateful for their families. We are grateful for those that have come to rejoice. We are grateful for those that are expecting because it will be their turn soon too. To you be all the honor and glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we give thanks. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Uh, where is uh, Noah? Where is Nora? This is Nora? This is Nora. <laughs> yeah. Of course, yeah. The man, that, the man that built the biggest hack in the world. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Father, we just want to say thank you. We dedicate your son, Noah Oguntuga, to the God of heaven and earth. The God of our salvation. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Amen. You will always bring joy to the heart of your parents. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will be greater than Noah the first. Amen. Because you will do exploit for the Lord. Amen. It is well with you. Amen. May the Lord bless your parents. Amen. You will be a blessing to your generation. Amen. We dedicate you in the name of God the Father, Amen. Jesus Christ the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Nora is wide, wide awake, and she is hungry as well. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't want to make fun of you. <laughs> she wants to sleep. Nora, we dedicate you to the God of heaven and earth. We decree that may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord shine his countenance upon you. Your blessings in life will never be delayed. In the name of Jesus Christ. From my own experience, I know that twins, they always succeed. You will succeed. Amen. You will break through. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will be far, far greater than your parents. Amen. In every area of greatness, the Lord will add greatness to you. Amen. We dedicate you in the name of God the Father, Amen. Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I pray for your parents that their heart desires concerning these wonderful children. They, may the Lord grant them. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Where is Mr. Marvin? <laughs> huh? Marvin. <laughs> Grandpa, I got it right. Marvin. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mr. Marvin. May the Almighty God bless you. May the Almighty God keep you. I pray today that the heavens over your head will perpetually be open. In the name of Jesus Christ. As the Lord just said a few minutes ago for all these children and their parents, that they will live under hope on heavens. You parents, you will not struggle to bring up these children. The Lord will always meet your needs. Marvin, you are blessed. We dedicate you to the God of heaven and earth, the God of our salvation. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Almighty God lift you high. We pray for your siblings, that it is well with them, in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for your parents, everything that you need to bring up these children in the ways of the Lord. May the Almighty God multiply them unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. And Grandpa and Grandma are here. May the Almighty God give you a long life in divine health in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you. We have a baby gift for all our children and I'm sure that they will give it to you. Please choir, let's give them a song as we dance forward rejoicing. Oh, mommy and daddy have a testimony. We're good. Does anyone? Oh, she has a testimony. Please, let's indulge. 
All right, uh, praise the Lord. Um, I just want to thank God again for safe delivery. The baby was quite big, but um, God was faithful. I also want to thank God for my parents-in-law that made it here. Pa looks very young, but he's 100 years. And, <laughs> and they all traveled from Cameroon to be here for the child dedication. So we give God the glory for self-trip. We were like, how is he going to make it to be here for how many hours of travel? But he got here, he was strong, and he's still strong. So we return glory to God. Thank you all. Wow, indeed, with long life, the Lord will satisfy us. Thank God. I want to thank God for safe delivery. Um, it was a C-section, and I was scared at first, but God saw us through, and we thank God. Uh, I just want to thank God for, for my family, for my wife. Um, like she said, we were scared at the first time. Um, we had um, regular delivery for our boys, but for the twins, it was our first six session. Uh, so we just thank God for our life, and we thank God for this church, for my family, my friends, and everyone. Thank you so much. All right, congratulations. Okay, please watch the steps. God bless you. My praise will never be enough. My worship is more than just a song. Hey, you love me more than I deserve. More than I deserve. I'll praise you till the end of days I'll praise you, sing and shout your name Oh, you love me more than I deserve More than I deserve Open me for it For the general church so please let's rise up we're going to come before his throne and we're going to give him thanks one thing that the lord just told me is that this month we should always remember to thank him seeing all these things it's not normal to be normal people don't plan it at times but seeing the testimonies seeing people coming to give their you know to testify about their birthdays about their wedding anniversary god wants us to rejoice and thank him and please bring a worthy offering because you cannot come to the house of the lord empty come with your family rejoicing and thanking him hallelujah amen One, hallelujah two, oh. come on how many know we serve a very big god hey. do you remember this song and do you remember our dance we have any volunteers anybody wants to come here and do leg work for us anybody in the youth come on 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 very good yeah do I have someone over here anybody come on come on you can don't do it come on, come on don't be shy 
your family family by family please don't rush it's just by the leading of the holy spirit if your husband if your wife is here just come and touch this altar that's all the lord wants you to do amen and i'm going to agree with you just as you begin to do that on your mark let us go on your mark and set, let us go. Set us on your mark and set, let us go. On your mark and set, let us go. On your mark and set, let us go. On your mark and set, let us go.
praise the Lord. As I've agreed, as the Lord has instructed us, so shall it be for each and every one of you. By the time you come back next month, on this altar, you will come back to testify. I agree with you, and I know that our God is a prayer answering God. Remember, He told us just to thank Him at the beginning, but He has a plan, and that plan He has just executed. After we have thanked Him, He gave us an open check to ask of Him. Even as we have done, so shall we receive our testimony in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you for this token that we have brought before you. It is not enough and no one can even pay you. No one can buy you. We just come, Father Lord, to show how much we love you. Thank you for the opportunity. You are the one that gives seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Father, as we have cast it upon the waters, it shall return to us in multiple fold returns in every areas of our need. Men will bless us. Men will favor us. Doors of blessings will open for us. We shall experience showers. More than enough is what you have decreed. So shall it be in the name of God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Spirit we pray. Somebody shout hallelujah! presence and I was glad when they say unto me let us go into, into the, the house, house of, the, of Lord. the Lord it's nice to have you in the house this morning Amen. so you're welcome to New Wine Chapel where the fellowship is embracing the atmosphere is refreshing the spirit is alive and the message is Jesus we want to take this opportunity to welcome the special guests the very special people that are worshiping with us in New Wine Chapel for the first time. If today is your first time here on a Sunday morning, we want to recognize you. We want to welcome you into the house of the Lord. If you are one of those people, can you just wave wherever you are? Just wave your hand. God bless you. I see those hands. God bless you. God bless you. They are all over the place. Uh, please welcome them with a new wine welcome. Amen. And the Lord God Almighty will make sure this day will be on record as a day of divine turnaround for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So our Sunday service starts at 9 a.m. with fresh anointing. This is a moment of personal encounter with God and all workers are encouraged to attend. So Sunday school starts at 9.30 a.m. Celebration service starts at 10 a.m. Now, house fellowship is every so second Sunday of the month, um, except otherwise announced. Um, so please feel free to um, check on the foyer for your names or for the units that you have been assigned to. And if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to um, reach out to me or Brother Sam, Pastor Sam, sorry. Pastor Sam, and uh, we'll be happy to um, assign you to a unit. There has been some changes which I uh, will be bringing to your attention, but in the meantime, just um, look in the foyer and um, see where you have been assigned to. Thank you. God bless. Yeah, please uh, join the church for a corporate prayer every day of the week. Uh, we start by 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, just to pray. So it's good to start your day with the Lord. So join the church. Uh, the Zoom information is displayed on the screen. Join at 5 a.m. every day of the week. Uh, also, we, um, the prayer department comes here every Monday to pray. And you are welcome to join uh, the prayer department to pray or you can join via Zoom as well. 
God bless you as you do. Amen. Um, the Bible study, there will be Bible study every Wednesdays at 7 p.m. So please join us in church or virtually as we continue to study the Bible of Ephesians um, every Wednesdays if at 7 p.m. Sorry. If you are a pregnant woman or expecting to be pregnant, please, well, the women or pastor misses always join, uh, join them every Sunday to pray. Uh, immediately after the service, you just come to the trust the Lord. Offering time, blessing time. And blessing time is okay. offering time. So um, you can give uh, various ways. Um, you can give in person. Um, or you can text GIVE to 281-6030331 or you can sell to newwinechapel at gmail.com or you can go online at newwinechapel.org Give us a, a, a song. We're going to pray over the offering. And so Heavenly Father, we thank you once again because we are gathered here. We thank you for every hand um, that you have made possible to give today. We thank you as we pray for abundant blessings upon each and every hand that has donated today. My Lord and my God, we pray, O oh Lord God Almighty, that you continue to prosper each and every member of this church in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord God Almighty, even those who are unable to contribute today we pray that the next gathering my lord and my god that you bless them mightily and they'll be able to do even more than they expected today in the name of jesus we pray that the offering will be for your use O oh lord god almighty and at the end of it all father we pray that the glory will be for you and hallelujah can we stand up and celebrate as we give our offering? bless you since you've been dancing all day you may be seated <laughs> thank you choir please let us clap for the wonderful the wonderful choir in the world hallelujah 
uh, I have the privilege to quickly introduce the men. As I told you that we are coming with full force. Here we are now. We have landed. 